Yo, ever wonder if your Flipper Zero is holding secrets? Well, what if I told you there are entire radio frequencies completely hidden, just waiting to be unlocked? Get ready to explore the untapped potential of this amazing device and discover capabilities you never knew existed. Well, what radio frequencies are hidden and why is your flipper restricted? Why does the official firmware lock you out? It all boils down to legal compliance. Now, the flipper's radio chip is a beast. It's physically capable of operating across a huge chunk of the sub gigahertz spectrum, covering key ranges between 300 and 928 megahertz. This includes everything from your garage door and car keys to weather stations and smart home gadgets. Well, the problem is radio laws are different everywhere. A frequency that may be free to use in the US might be for emergency services in Europe. To legally sell the flipper worldwide and avoid causing dangerous interference, the creators program the official firmware to enforce regional locks. It checks where you are and only lets you transmit on the legally approved bands. That's the responsible thing to do, but it means a huge part of your flipper's hardware is just sitting there unused. That transmission block message, that's the firmware doing its job, but it's also getting in the way of some serious experimentation and research, and that's the problem we're here to solve. Now, the key to unlocking all this is custom firmware, and today we're talking about the best out there, Momentum. It's built on the same stable foundation as official firmware, so you get all the regular features, but it adds a ton of new tools and best of all, unlocks the radio. Installing Momentum gets rid of those regional frequency restrictions, and this gives you access to the entire sub gigahertz range the CC1101 chip can handle, letting you explore and analyze a much bigger world of radio signals. And it's not just about the radio, Momentum adds a bunch of other great quality of life improvements. You get a redesigned interface with different menu styles, a quick access control center, and a better file manager. It also packs in new protocols for NFC, expands Bluetooth tools for things like bad KB and BLE spam, and even beefs up security features. It's like taking your flipper to a pro tuner. It just makes the device more powerful, more customizable and way more capable. But hang on, before we go any further, we need to have a quick but serious chat. This is the most important part of the video. Unlocking these frequencies gives you a lot of power and you have to be responsible with it. Transmitting on restricted frequencies is illegal and can mess with critical systems like aviation, emergency services, or even hospital equipment. The whole point of this channel is education and security research. You should only ever use these unlocked abilities to analyze signals from your own devices or on systems where you have clear written permission to test. Never ever interfere with stuff you don't own. Using this irresponsibly can land you in serious legal trouble. And more importantly, you could put people in real danger. So be smart, be ethical, and be responsible. We're here to learn and explore, not to cause chaos. All right, with that out of the way, let's get this installed. Getting this done is extremely easy and you only need three things. First, your Flipper Zero, obviously. Second, a USB-C cable to connect it to your computer. And third, a computer with Google Chrome. The web flasher we're about to use works best in Chrome, so just make sure you have it installed for the smoothest ride. And that's literally it. 
no complex software, no command line headaches, just you, your flipper, and a web browser. A quick tip, your USB-C cable must support data. It cannot be a cable that's only for charging. All right, ready to get this installed? Let's walk through it. First, make sure any official Flipper software like the QFlipper app or lab.flipper.net is completely closed on your computer. It will definitely mess with the web flasher, so just double check that it's not running. Next, plug your Flipper Zero into your computer with the USB-C cable. Now, pop open your Chrome browser and go to momentum-fw.dev. This is the firmware's official site. Now, if it does not automatically connect to your flipper, just click connect. And now go over to install and click web updater. After that, click select channel and choose mainline. Then simply click install. After a few minutes, it'll finish up. Your flipper will reboot and you'll be greeted by a new Welcome to Momentum firmware screen. That's it, you did it. Now use the arrow keys to cycle through the welcome messages. They give you a quick tour of new features like the control center you can open up by pressing the up arrow. Once you're through, you'll land on the new Momentum desktop. It looks a bit different, but it works the same. Now let's check if it actually worked. From the main menu, click enter, and then go over to sub gigahertz, and then click read. Next, click left. And now you should be able to scroll freely all the way from 300 megahertz to 928 megahertz. That transmission is blocked error is officially a thing of the past. And just like that, you've unlocked the real power of your Flipper Zero. If this guide was helpful, do me a quick favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out and it's free. So what can you actually do with all this? You now have a powerful radio frequency explorer in your pocket. You can use the read function to capture signals from your own remotes for your garage, your smart plugs, whatever and see how they work. Keep in mind, the Flipper isn't a true software defined radio, so it can't capture raw unfiltered radio waves, but it's still pretty cool for analyzing the data with common signals. It's an incredible tool for learning about radio protocols and how our wireless world is built. And for those who want to take it even further, you can connect external boards to significantly boost your reception and transmission range, letting you reach much further than the flipper's stock antenna. Basically, you've just handed yourself the keys to a huge world of wireless tech. Now, as we wrap this up, I just want to hit on that responsibility point one last time. It's awesome to have these capabilities, but this isn't a tool for pranks or messing with people. The Flipper community is all about ethical hacking, learning, and responsible research. Just remember the main rule here. Don't transmit where you aren't legally allowed to. And don't test, capture, or mess with any device you don't personally own or have explicit permission to audit. Respect the airwaves, respect people's property and privacy, and use your flipper as a tool for learning. That's how we keep this community positive and make sure this amazing device continues to be a force for good. So there you have it. You've taken a stock Flipper Zero, moved past its factory limits, and installed the powerful Momentum firmware. You've now got the full sub gigahertz radio at your command and a whole new world to explore and learn from. You are now in full control of your hardware. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you level up your flipper skills, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future guides. But now I have a question for you. What's the first thing you're going to explore with your unlocked flipper? Let me know down in the comments. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching.
Peace.